So these days, most of us max out our free time by staring at screens. But a great screen-free um, entertainment alternative is model trains. And I should know, because I got my first model train set at age three. And after 16 years in the hobby, I can say the best part of bottle reverting is running a train with the remote control so you can just follow it around freely. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, one such train remote control system, the Lionel Legacy Cab 1L. So first, I'm going to show you the components. So you have the train, of course, and the track. You have the remote control. You have the command base, the controller, and then the power pack. So the first step is to plug in the controller um, and the power pack and the command base into a power source. And you can tell they're both receiving power um, because the green power lights are both on. Next, you need to wire the controller to the command base to the track. And yeah, so and I'm gonna demonstrate on the whiteboard how to do that. So you have the controller, the command base, and then you have your track. So you need to you need to run three wires in order to connect everything together. First you run a wire from the positive uh, terminal of the controller to the track, and then you run another wire back from the track to the negative terminal. You need two wires because electricity flows in a circuit. And then but lastly, you need to run another wire from the negative terminal of the command base, sorry, the controller, sorry, to the command base. And that's it. Now let's see if I managed to do it correctly this time. <laughs> All right, so to start the train, you first need to turn the track power on. And you can see the locomotive is receiving power. Actually, let me turn it. You can see if it's receiving power because the lights are on. Next, you uh, type in the type the ENG button on the top right corner, and then you type in the locomotive number. In this case, it is 41. And then you hit the number three to start it up. Let's see if it. Yep. All right. So some quick functions. Four. You just press the horn button. actually run the train, you turn uh, the red wheel clockwise, you stop the train, hit the direction button, and you'll notice that the red marker now, instead of a headlight, it, it now I'm showing red marker lights, that means the train will back up. And there goes the track face, so. And then, finally, crew talk. Dispatcher, ready to roll. So I hope this has, so those are just some of the features of this, believe me, like it would take hours to show you um, all the features that this remote can do. So I hope this has piqued your interest in model trains. If it has, I recommend you pay a visit to a model railroad club. My model railroad club is actually hosting a show in two weeks. I hope to see you there. Thank you. Thank you.